And as you get your day started, we are broadcasting for you right here on television as well as streaming online. Just go to NBCBayArea.com if you have to have it out this morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Chris Sanchez. I'm in for Laura Garcia. First to that firefight in Lake Tahoe with so much at stake on what could be a pivotal day for firefighters. Yeah, and that's why we sent today in the base Bob Riddell live there to that area. He's at Echo Summit. This is above South Lake Tahoe. And Bob, I know you have good vantage point for us this morning. So tell us more about what's going on behind it seems like more smoke is is coming around you. Yeah, the fires over there to the to the right or the flames, I should say, but it uh, looks like they're suppressed uh, right now. But, you know, with about a half hour ago, of course, you saw the flames uh, crowning over these trees or probably about 50 feet tall. But right now you are seeing a lot of smoke and and what is critical to note is the direction that the smoke is blowing. It's blowing to the left side of your screen, and that's the direction of South Lake Tahoe. So that is of concern because if the wind's blowing there, there's a chance that the fire could blow there as well. Uh, the weather conditions are not ideal for today. We are in a red flag warning here to, for the Tahoe region until 11 o'clock tonight and could see wind gusts today in the range of 20 to 50 miles an hour. Now we're along Highway 50 here at Echo Summit. This is about a 15 minute drive from, from South Lake uh, Tahoe. Uh, this is that bend where if you're heading into South Lake Tahoe, you can usually see the lake. But if we were to pan all the way to the left right now, uh, you can't see the lake. It's just smoke, uh, white smoke as you're looking in that direction. Uh, South Lake Tahoe did evacuate on Monday, and last night authorities issued new evacuation orders for the Nevada side of the lake. The concern continues to be the direction of this fire that could wind up on the backside of the popular Heavenly Ski Resort, which oversees the lake, overlooks the lake. Uh, the people who have evacuated are scared, uh, too. They might not have a home to come back to. It was nice to have one more night in our house, and hopefully it'll be here when we come back. Just lots of family and years of memories, and it just, it's absolutely devastating. I don't know. We've, we're all very, very close, so. We're just happy that we're all together and, and safe right now. So far, the Caldor fire has burned almost 200,000 acres, destroyed almost 500 homes, and right now is threatening almost another 35,000 homes and other types of structures. Containment, just at 18%. That's something that the firefighters are going to try to up today. Don't know if it'll be possible given these conditions. Reporting live here at Top Echo Summit, Bob Riddell, today in the Bay.